Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Monday's Daily Self Check-In. My name is Haley. I use she, her pronouns. I manage the behavioral health consulting team at Howard Brown. Um, and either myself or Ray facilitate uh, just a check-in every day as a way to um, check in with yourself, see what's happening, and hopefully move into the second part of your day or the next part of your day with uh, an energy that feels a bit lighter or or healthier, whatever that means for you. Uh, this presentation, of course, is just general information, and we're not going to provide any individual recommendations uh, or any sort of legal advice. If you do want these services, feel free to reach out if you're in need of them. If you're a member of Howard Brown's community, you can reach out to us. If not, you can always um, use Google and or your insurance if that is something that's available to you. If you are um, in an emergency or need immediate assistance, please make sure you call 911 or go to your nearest emergency room. And you can always contact the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. So with that being said, we'll get into our practice for today. So I encourage you all right now to find a quiet place to sit if that's something available to you. As always, you can always modify. So when we're practicing together, do whatever feels most comfortable for you. If you're in a space and it's available to you, you might want to dim the lights, um, pull a shade if you have it, just to give yourself kind of a dimmed area to sit in today. I would do the same. But I'll give you a second just to find the spot in your space. Just make sure your phone is turned over or turned down so that it isn't blinking or glowing at you during the practice. This is your time. Just a time for total relaxation and inner stillness. Also check in with your body. Are you cool or are you warm? Depending on where you're at, if, make sure you're warm enough, whatever that means. If you need to put a blanket or a sweatshirt on, feel free to grab those things right now. And then rest comfortably into your spot. Resting your hands loosely in your lap. If it's comfortable to you, feel free to go ahead and close your eyes. If not, just find a spot on the floor or the wall where you can gently direct your gaze. And then I encourage you to take in a long, slow, deep breath. And then hold it for a moment and then slowly exhale. Allow the tension of your day, of your body to melt away with each breath. So again, I invite you to breathe in long and slow. And to hold it and then to let it go slowly. And again, one deep, long, slow breath in, and a brief pause at the top of your breath, and then an exhale. Try emptying your lungs completely with your out breath. Take in a third deep breath, taking your time, holding it for a moment, and then letting it go. Imagining a deeper relaxation as you breathe. Continue to breathe slowly and gently in whichever way feels comfortable to you right now. And bring your awareness to the top of your head. Imagine a sense of feeling of relaxation beginning to spread down 
from the top of your scalp into the muscles of your forehead, your eyes, your nose, your ears, your jaw, your cheeks, and your chin, letting go of all of the tension. Let that peaceful feeling continue to flow down into your neck. Feel it loosening all the muscles in your neck and the fibers between your shoulders and your head. With each breath you take, your relaxed feeling gets a bit deeper and warmer. This feeling works its way into your shoulders, soothing them and releasing them. From your shoulders, it flows down into your arms, relaxing the muscles of your upper arms, your elbows, your forearms, your wrists into the into your hands the palm of your hands relaxing and soothing all of the muscles all the way to the tips of your fingers as your body relaxes your mind relaxes a bit also. Thoughts become a bit lighter. And you continue to breathe. Now I invite you to bring your awareness to your chest and your stomach. Just noticing how the breath lifts the stomach and releases it with every breath that you take. Pay attention to relaxing the muscles along your back as you move from the top of your back to the bottom of your spine, slowly releasing and relaxing the muscles as you go. Allow this feeling of relaxation to spread in the muscles of your back. Feel your upper body has become loose and relaxed. Now feel your hips relax as a peaceful feeling starts to work its way through your lower body. Relax your buttocks, the back of your thighs, and the front of your thighs. Feel all these pretty big muscles becoming looser and more relaxed with each passing moment. and continue to notice your breath. The easy flow of air as it moves in and out. Notice the soothing feelings as they move down and flow down through your knees and into your calf. You'll notice your ankles relax and your feet relax.
Allow your entire lower body to relax. As you notice any remaining tension flows out through the tips of your toes. You are comfortable, peaceful, and relaxed. Now we're going to leave the external world behind and go on an inner journey, a place of inner stillness. Picture yourself walking down a busy street in the city where you live. You might notice shops, businesses, restaurants. You might see people scurrying in and out of stores or work offices. People moving in and out of their homes. Perhaps you see cars and buses that are lying down the road as they crawl through the city, perhaps bumper to bumper. As you're walking down the busy street, pay attention to the people that you see. The noises that you hear. And the feelings or thoughts that you hold in your body. As you walk, turn your head so that you can see the events that occur on both sides of the street. As you're walking next to the sidewalk, you notice a narrow doorway between two buildings. It's a small opening that looks like a cozy retreat from the hustle and bustle of the world around you. You walk towards the doorway to explore what might be set back between the buildings. You arrive at the doorway and step inside and notice it's a narrow entrance to a building. It's dimly lit, but it's warm and inviting and it shelters you from all the hustle and bustle of the world around you. You take a few steps deeper into the entrance and you arrive at the top of a flight of 10 stairs. You slowly make your way down the steps. And as you do, you notice that the noises that were so clear just a couple seconds ago begin to fade away. As you walk down to the door, you'll notice the noise of the world moves a little bit further away. And you notice yourself in a place of deep quiet. As you walk down the 10 steps, you sink into a deeper state of relaxation. Once you have reached the bottom of the staircase, you are feeling calm and relaxed. Right now you notice you can barely hear what's happening at the street level when you're by the door. It seems so far away. The door that stands before you is a tall wooden door. It has no handle or no lever to which to open it. But you'll notice when you look at it that it has a word etched in it. And this word is release. For a second, you think about what that word means to you.
slowly you begin to feel a sensation of opening and letting go and releasing and the door unlocks itself its old hinges creak and it slowly reveals a small round room to you the room is a library it's filled with books and bookshelves and it has a tall ceiling You step into the room and explore the space that's before you. You notice the books that wrap around the room with titles of books from all journeys in your life so far. You'll notice the room is private. You're the only one present. It is secluded and inviting, allowing you to feel secure and content in this place. In the middle of the room sits a small wooden desk. And on the desk lies an old dust covered book. You pick up the book and feel the weight of it in your hand. You have a sense of wonder as you behold this grand old book. It's been waiting in this place for you for quite a while, perhaps since before you were born. You notice when you open it up that the pages are blank. This is a book of freedom. It has the power to free you from anything in life that might be bothering you or weighing you down. It's time to write something in the book. You decide to either sit or stand at the desk and you take the pen next to the book and you begin to write. You write about situation, a situation that might be troubling you right now. That might be something in the, the future that might frighten you or something you hold in the present that is taking up some of your energy. Perhaps you write about a person that you're in conflict with or something that has triggered you to hold on to negative feelings. There is no right or wrong way to do this. You simply just write for a moment. Take your time, feel free to check in with your thoughts and where they may have gone. Allow the images to form in your mind and allow the feelings to flow into your book. Fill out as much or as little as you need to, to release this from your mind. Let the feelings and thoughts flow onto the pages of your book. 
noticing that these concerns absorb into the book and stay there with it. As the pages fill with the words and pictures, you begin to feel a little lighter. You have been heard. You have been understood. You have been reassured. And you feel relief. When you are ready, you simply close the book. You take in this place one last time and notice the feelings of being relieved and understood. You move away from the desk and take in the space with the books. You walk back towards the door and step back out into the space, walking back up the 10 steps that you came down to enter this space. As you reach street level, you're aware that you can hear the noises of the cars. You can see people again moving around, going from workplace to workplace or home. You notice the lightness that you feel from having written in your book. continue on your journey down your path to wherever you need to go next knowing that you can always return back to your library whenever you need to and as you're walking in your path and you're paying attention to noises, you can now shift back into the space that you're in and the noises you hear in the room or the space around you. Check back in with your breathing. See what it feels like to have the breath come in and out. Feel free to move your fingers or your toes and settle back into the space around you right now. Notice the colors and shapes in the world around you in this moment. And pause to thank yourself for giving you the time to check in with yourself today. Thank you for practicing with us today. As always, if you have any questions, you can let either Ray or myself know. Uh, you can reach me at uh, my first name, Haley, H-A-Y-L-E-Y, V, uh, as in victory, at howardbrown.org. Uh, other than that, I wish you peace for the rest of your day today.